Dailshime on Dansha of Saturdays made holy, er lab yalton a face of air, a cor almost in all the glushuk na garkum and Augusta Mary Fane. The night is long and I awake recall the making of the march on those Saturdays made holy, the beat their feet behind banners that bore the glory of the words that called for a life more equal. Banners held steady for the speech, gold-threaded, fringed, eyeletted with care for the carrying to defeat the opposing breeze. Borne by arms made strong from work of mind, of heart and hand. Those words sent out to cheers I search for now. They are not gone, nor is the memory of how they danced without restraint, skipping back and forth to cheers in joyful subversion of the ordinary. The echo of that beat of feet behind banners on Saturdays made holy is slow to come. Can it be that it is lost, perhaps forgotten? Surely not so, for in the long sweep of history, in the stories that will be told, others will hear of how behind banners they marched, women and men and children too, on Saturdays made holy. It will be told of how they sometimes won, and often lost if never defeated. It will matter that they sometimes wept unfolding for another day, those banners that carried words, emancipatory. The night, though long and dawn, so slow and breaking, yet morning light glorious reveals how from those arrows fledged in history that mist their mark and darkness have sprung in light some frail fruit trees of hope. In other times an old planet weary finds new life renewal from the music of the heart. And now a new song emerges from behind banners gold threaded again made sacred on Saturdays made holy with words emancipatory as voices rise in unison and sing of love and a new day for all humanity. Gonna mean a mahagi, August Burbanach. <laughs>